Get ready to question everything you thought you knew about reality as we explore the captivating possibilities of portals and wormholes. With reports of people vanishing into thin air, strange beings appearing out of nowhere, and UFOs blinking in and out of existence, it's no wonder that many people believe these anomalies could be attributed to doorways leading to other worlds and possibly other dimensions. A wormhole, also known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge, is a hypothetical method of traversing between two distant points in space or time via a tunnel. It can best be described as a shortcut from one point to another. Although they are hypothetical, their existence provides a legitimate solution to problematic equations within general relativity allowing physicists, scientists, and academics to explore how such structures could exist, be created, and harnessed. Harvard physicist Lisa Randall, who is a specialist in high-energy physics, is one of those academics, being a notable pioneer looking into the existence of a fifth dimension that coexists very close to our reality, where gravity and energy leaks in and out through naturally created portals that could function at the subatomic level. In her 2011 best-selling book, Knocking on Heaven's Door, which has nothing to do with religion, she expresses her vision and belief that through experiments being conducted at the Large Hydron Collider, science is on the verge of discovering exotic new physics. According to some astrophysicists, there are many places in our universe where wormholes are predicted to naturally occur and that is in close proximity to black holes. As a result of the extreme conditions arising from what is called frame dragging, where space-time itself is stretched and warped due to the extreme energies as well as gravitational anomalies and magnetic fields that arise around black holes. In July of 2023, a study featured in the journal Physical Review, Dr. Andriy Zenikov and his colleagues presented groundbreaking calculations that shed light on the astonishing capabilities of ring wormholes. They propose that this cosmic phenomena might not only serve as a gateway for teleportation across universes, but could also function as time machines. The essence of their research hinges on intricate calculations revealing that ring wormholes could give rise to something known as closed time-like curves. This phenomenon becomes possible when one end of a wormhole is positioned close to a significant mass, while its counterpart is situated in a region sparse of any substantial mass. Under precise conditions, the wormhole's mouth can foster an environment where closed time-like curves flourish, transforming these portals into conduits for time travel. Imagine a scenario where, by navigating through a ring wormhole, one could emerge not only in a distant part of the cosmos, but also in a completely different era. This revolutionary concept not only challenges our understanding of space and time, but also opens up the unprecedented possibilities for future explorations in physics and beyond. Now, with our current understanding, in order to artificially create a wormhole, we need exotic matter. Based on the Einstein-Rosen bridge theory, in order for a wormhole to be traversable and stable, preventing it from collapsing under its own gravitational attraction, exotic matter is required. The repulsive force generated by exotic matter could theoretically counteract the gravitational forces trying to close the wormhole. Wormhole, keeping the mouth of the wormhole open for matter to pass through. Without the presence of exotic matter, any wormhole that forms would likely collapse too quickly for anything to travel through it, rendering it non-traversable. Can something like this be true? Can it be harnessed and found in abundance? Exotic matter is still a mystery, so for now we can only look at the potential places and events which are alleged to host portals. While there is no actual evidence of portals being in these places, with the stories and reports being for the most part anecdotal, the incident reports keep coming. Starting with the place that you're probably familiar with, which is Skinwalker Ranch in Utah. 
during a period of ownership between 1996 and 2016 by Robert Bigelow of Bigelow Aerospace with funding from the United States government, a team of scientists set themselves up in a research center on the ranch with equipment designed to monitor the many strange phenomena alleged to occur regularly on the property. A subsequent observation by members of the team involved a nighttime sighting of a ball of light that expanded into what looked like a hole in the sky above the ground and a sighting of an entity that came out of the hole before it sank down and disappeared. Retired Navajo Ranger John Dover has spoken of the oral tradition stories from Navajo tribal members, stating that the certain areas have doorways to other worlds that date back hundreds of years. Take a listen to what he has to say. We know that the idea of portals uh, is universal. The, these spirals are uh, indications all around the world that you see them in, in petroglyphs and pictographs. The idea uh, of portals comes from this, this string theory that there may be more than one dimension. There could be 10 or a dozen. There could be an infinite number of uh, parallel dimensions that are right next to us or co-inhabiting space with us. These dimensions operate at other frequency levels. And so the, the key to them is to hit certain, certain frequencies to uh, open these portals up. Uh, we don't know how that technology works. Uh, they're just starting to look into that at uh, Skinwalker Ranch and they're seeing a uh, frequency of uh, 1.6 gigahertz uh, where these things uh, are manifesting. We see uh, other incidents where certain frequencies, well, they, they had an early episode there where they had a Jewish rabbi come and, and do some chanting and they immediately had uh, cold temperatures come in. They saw orbs floating around. Uh, so there's something to this. Uh, we vibrate at a very specific frequency. Uh, if they figured out a way to disrupt that, we would just cease to be. Uh, our atoms would just come apart and, uh, and we would just disappear. So there's, uh, th those frequencies tend to hold us together. Uh, we think that all the paranormal incidents involving hauntings, involving Bigfoot, involving UFOs are all interrelated through the use of uh, parallel dimensions. And even the case of David uh, Pilates' uh, missing 411, that people are inadvertently stepping through these portals and disappearing, sometimes within sight of their camp and uh, are never seen again. Another hotspot of bizarre phenomena and mysteries has also been connected to instances of portals is the Bridgewater Triangle, a 200 square mile zone in Massachusetts that has been dubbed one of the most active paranormal hotspots in the East Coast. Over the years, there have been many reports of UFOs, strange creatures, ghostly apparitions, witchcraft, and ritual murders in the area. Witnesses have described Bigfoot-type entities, glowing spheres, and UFOs that have literally appeared and disappeared, where the air appears to shimmer and go hazy. Next is a popular tourist spot in the state of Arizona, which is Sedona, and has a long reputation of being a paranormal and UFO sightings hotspot. Aside from the many tours you can go on, which are called Sedona Vortex Tours, attributed to places of alleged energetic zones, the area also has been reported to be the scene of numerous examples of portals opening and closing, both on the ground at another mysterious ranch called the Bradshaw Ranch, and in the air near Thunder Mountain. But there's more. Since leaving a career in law enforcement, Dave Politis has spent many years documenting and reporting on unexplained disappearances of people around the United States and Canada. 
Some of the disappearances involve reports of people literally vanishing into thin air in front of witnesses, with a high occurrence in national parks and forest land. His extensive series of missing 411 books go into detail on cases, many of which are disturbing and infer that there could be places in nature where the veil between this world and another is extremely thin or even ripped open. There are many locations around the world where boats and ships, aircraft, and people have disappeared without a trace. Aside from the well-known pop culture areas like the Bridgewater Triangle, there's also the Alaska Triangle, the Michigan Triangle, the Devil's Triangle, just to name a few. But there are also places such as Lake Superior on the northern edge of Wisconsin, the Great Smoky Mountains that straddles the borders of the states of Tennessee and North Carolina, Pyramid Lake in the Angeles and Los Padres National Forest of California, the Superstition Mountains, which are just east of Apache Junction in Arizona, and the Bennington Triangle in Vermont, and that's just looking in the United States alone. Each of these locations have their fair share of stories of the strange and paranormal, and some are where UFOs can be regularly seen. But are all or some of these disappearances results of portals? There even seems to be a connection between UFOs, the paranormal, and portals. Researcher Steve Mara has a very interesting story. And people were reporting not only UFOs, but also paranormal things. For instance, a family would go out for the day, and, and they're half an hour away from coming back from home, half an hour away from the home, they see something in the sky. It's a very large craft. It seems to descend towards them. It fires a light down in front of them of the car. They're very upset. They're very frightened. And they, they managed to they lose this thing. They tried to outrun it in the vehicle, and it seemingly did. But when you get home that night, there are lots of disturbances taking place, paranormal, poltergeist type disturbances. They've never had it before. So it was seemingly associated, the link between the UFO they'd seen that night and the disturbances of home. We were doing an investigation where uh, there was an apport. An apport is an object that suddenly disappears and reappears somewhere else sometime later. But no explanation whatsoever for it, for this action apart from it being a paranormal act. And the item that was disappeared was a mug. But luckily for us, the person who had that mug in that house and was having these disturbances, this mug was a pack of four. And she had all four, which were purchased at Christmas time, and it was one of those mugs, which was the apple. So we took that mug away to analyse the apported mug. But we also took a, the, the non apported mug, just a normal mug out of the cupboard. But they were identical because they were both from the same pack, from the same uh, when they purchased us four in a pack. We took them away and analysed them. And when we analysed the apported mug, it was significantly different. Now, look at both of them, you would not tell the difference. They feel the same, they weigh the same, they look the same. Under the microscope, they are not the same. The apported mug had a huge amount of diathermic reaction inside. In other words, it had been broken down and it, and, a, and, and it had been formed back together again in a certain way where you could see the diathermic reaction had taken place uh, as if it had gone through some change in matter. Now, what is interesting is that when we got the results back and looked at the report of these diathermic reactions in this apported mug, we thought we'd seen this before somewhere. And I'll tell you where it was. It was a case when a UFO, there was a case when a UFO was seen in the sky and it came down and landed, well, not landed, but just above the ground by a foot or so. And the witnesses saw this before it disappeared. But the object affected the plants on the ground. And they brought in scientists to take samples from the plants. That test is known as a biological traumatology test on the plants. And when they realized, when they analyzed the plants, they realized there was a diathermic reaction in the plants. That diathermic reaction is the same diathermic reaction in the apported mug. So if it's a mug that suddenly appears, or a UFO that suddenly appears, they seem to be using the very same physics involved in the materialization process. Again, 
a connection between the paranormal and the UFOs. Putting the stories and research aside, the concept of wormholes and portals blazed a trail into the public consciousness in the 1990s with movies like Stargate and TV shows like Sliders, The Outer Limits, Star Trek The Next Generation, and Deep Space Nine. Even portrayed in horror movies in the 1980s like Evil Dead 2, Hellraiser, The Gate, The Prince of Darkness, among others. If kids were encountering plot references in movies or TV shows, then portals would increasingly show up on consoles and computers, such as the popular game called Portal, being released in 2007 that became a global hit. And of course, we can't forget the Avengers movies, like the Doctor Strange series, where portals play a significant role in the plot. What movie or video game did I miss that portrays portals? Portals and wormholes captivate both the imagination of the public and the curiosity of scientists, merging the realm of science fiction with theoretical physics. They not only inspire wonder and exploration, but also push the boundaries of scientific research, prompting inquiries into the universe's fundamental principles. This pursuit of understanding reflects the human spirit's unyielding drive to explore and unravel the mysteries of the secrets of the universe. Before you go, think about this just for a moment. If given the opportunity, would you walk through a portal even if you didn't know what was on the other side? Leave your response in the comments.